What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video with your boy Payne. Happy Sunday everybody. Um, we are going to do a little bit of a thing that some of you guys have been asking for quite some time since the update and that is to compare the dark teams now between Lim, SM Beck because yes they have been updated and have been buffed versus Charlotte and Harper and the, the key factor here is we're going to just add Isla into both teams and just let her kind of control the flow and, and the way things go. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do two guild battles. We're going to do Isla with Charlotte and Harper. Then we're gonna do Isla with SM Beck and Lim. Now my SM Beck and Lim currently are as follows. Uh, we have them set up with Greed. I think I think the stats look fairly decent, 26K attack. Uh, I mean, if you look at the 50% 50, 50 crit, the only thing really with Lim that's missing is his damage increase, but his, his crit damage is fairly good and fairly high. So he's got an A5 weapon. Gotta keep in mind that these guys have A10 weapons, so it's gonna be a little bit different in terms of damage, but at least we can add a little bit more percentage to them because of that. Now my SM back has A3 weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get his to A5 as well because I think it makes a massive difference in terms of the results we're gonna get. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a battle comparing both of them together and seeing how they do, okay? So let's just go with two. Let me just get a couple more of these out of the, out of the way. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. That should give me the two that I need. Uh, one, two. Oh, I'm sorry. I needed one more. I are good at math. Uh, there we go. One more. Okay. And then I'm going to check out SM Beck's um, overall gear just to make sure that he is, in fact, going to be ready for this. I don't want to have him kind of be lackluster because his gear suck. Now, a couple things to note. They did not increase the bleed effect. They only increased the Curse of the Beast. Now, Curse of the Beast only works on anyone who is immune to bleed. So keep in mind, if the if the guild boss is not immune to bleed, the curse of the curse of the uh, beast will not affect it at all, right? So that's the one thing I do want you guys to keep in the back of your minds when you are seeing this, these test results. Uh, let's just see how he's built. Uh, we got 19k attack, not very good. We'll switch that up. 34% uh, crit. Now we're gonna we're gonna do a whole switch. Um, let me let me go in here. I'm gonna swap the gears out here. Make sure he's got good gear on, and then we're gonna jump in and to do our best here to give him the best possible results. And I'm probably gonna do expert with curse. So give me a few minutes, guys. I'll set him up, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back here again. So here's what I did. I went ahead and built him with curse and expert. So the, the dragon boss, in fact, is immune to bleeds, which is great. So the curse of the beast will work. And you guys, just so you guys are aware, curse of the beast does the following. Everyone, just so everyone's on the same page. Uh, so curse of the beast does the 200% of silver mains. You, uh, Yunho's max HP every three seconds. So that's why you want to build him with a little bit more HP. I did put up a 23k because I do want him to have a little bit more attack still. But we're going to go ahead and try this out and see how this works. Now, obviously, HP wise, you do want to getting as much HP as, HP as possible for that bleed to work um, but I also don't want to gimp him too much in terms of his overall stats his attack is very very low but you have this is kind of the problem with him right is you want to build him with HP but then you have to sacrifice a little bit of attack or you have to get pretty much perfect stats so I did get his damage increase to 15% I could probably sacrifice a little bit more of that and get him maxed out in regards to, to his overall stats but we're gonna leave it as is for now we're gonna just try this out and see how it goes so let's go into the guild battles again we're gonna try both units out so we'll try charlotte harper first and then i'll throw in sm back with limb and we'll see. actually no let's do limb and and isla first let's do that so i think between the two of them i probably think that sm back okay so we'll put isla in i think sm back should go here i think limb will probably do more damage overall so let's, let's, let's just try this out here, okay? We're going to go Team A, and we're going to test this and see exactly how these guys do. Now, I know a lot of you guys are interested in these results. Now, remember, the stats are completely going to be different between the two, the two of them because I would, I would imagine that my, my, the Harper and Isla is probably better, better geared, but we're going to see how this goes. Okay, and you guys can just see right here, there's the bleed, right? You guys can see right on top of them. So we're going to hope that, that that bleed will be enough for, for these guys to you know to keep up with the damage that harper and isla or harper and charlotte are going to do with isla on the team so we'll see we'll see maybe these buffs were worth it maybe not uh, i think i think limbs gear is well well put together i think sm back's gear could use a lot of work but again sm back in general is is going to require two sets of gear you're going to need to have one with um you're going to need to have one with the hp set and you're going to with curse and expert and you're going to have one that's going to need, need curse and expert with attack set so it's unfortunate the way they built him. I wish they would just focus on him with one stat rather than two and just make him full HP. That would have been fine. Just scale him full HP like Saul was, you know? So I think that would have been smarter, but we'll see what happens here. I wanted to test this on POD, but unfortunately my POD is already done. I never had a chance to actually get it, get it going. So 
We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think Gale Boss, quite honestly, is probably still the better better way to do this. Let's see what happens here. I'm curious. I'm curious to see if that bleed actually has, a, a, you know, a good enough effect to even matter on these bosses. Again, my max HP is only at what 20, what, 20, 20 something K, right? So, I mean, numbers are cut, uh, looking fairly low, guys, right now. I'm not gonna lie. They're looking fairly low. Now, Lim, Lim is a hybrid breaker DPS, right? So ideally, like, we would want to see hammers do this real quick to break them. Hopefully that, that, hopefully we can break them. If not, then... Yeah, so no break there. Nobody's, nobody's dying, though, so that's the important part. Okay, here we go. Man, look at Isla just keeping everybody up, like full on up. Come on, guys. I want to see a little bit more damage. This is kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, Charlotte and, and Harper are gonna kill these two. And I mean, rightfully so. These are older characters now. So, I, I, I never really imagined that they would dominate or even be close. I mean, maybe they'll be closer than expected or here at the end of it all, but... I feel like Charlotte and Harper are still going to destroy them. I hate this skill. Come on, come down. Okay, good. Let's see what it looks like, guys. Okay, so Lim did do more damage. So there you guys go. So 135, 109, 19. Okay, keep that in mind. 135, 109, 19. Let me let me take a quick little let me take a little quick snapshot of this so I don't lose it. Okay, so I have I have reference to go back to. All right, so that's that. Now let's go into the other two and test them out, and that will be our comparison. And nobody died, so that's good. That's that's a really good sign. So here we're gonna put. Um, Harper, where are you? There you go. And then here we're going to put Charlotte. Okay. Defense 25k, HP 47k. But she scales off HP only, not attack. So it's like you kind of have to figure out what you want to do and what's more important. Is the beast attack, is the beast move more important than the rest of his attacks? And if that's the case, maybe we have to build him the same way where he's full on HP based. Uh, and by he, I mean SM Beck. But I'm not sure if you want to neglect all of his his moves because the rest of his moves all scale off attack, right? So you gotta have to be kind of a little bit more careful about how you build him and how how you function with him. All right, let's see here. Numbers are already looking much higher from the from the get go, like from the start. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna get destroyed. I don't I don't think this is even a competition to be honest. I mean, it, it might be like decently close, but I think they're. For sure, Charlotte and Harper are gonna. Again, the gear is much better. We have to put that put that into perspective. I think also skill level Lim probably isn't leveled up very much in comparison to the, the, their skill, so that might have been a big reason too. But if it's fairly close, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. That means the people who didn't summon for Charlotte and Harper can get away with SM Beck and and Lim, and perhaps even beat content for Dark Mode. So, for example, Battlefield of Trials. Or hell, even normal brawn or hard mode brawn. I, I, I don't know if hard mode brawn will be doable with those two, but it may be close. Maybe close. It depends on, on your advancements and, and your gear for them, right? Sorry for the stomping, guys. My kids are upstairs. They're running around right now, trying to be crazy. So if you hear if you hear some noise, that's the, that's what's happening right now. Yeah, I mean, look at the numbers now. We're only at a minute thirty-five, and right away, it's like it's looking much much higher already. Look at the healing man. Right back up almost. It's crazy. Alright, let's let's I'm gonna help if if Char or if Har Harper can't break, I'll help. No, we'll, we'll get a break. And that's fine. If no break comes off, that's not a big deal. They, the the last team didn't break either, so that kinda evens that out anyways. Oh, Charlotte died. Damn dude. Well, that's fine. We're going to keep it anyways. Because if her numbers are at one minute, she's not at one minute. So if her numbers are low, 
or even uh, or even close to the other ones that we know with a minute left she would have just like the numbers are already higher you can tell guys the total damage is much higher with this much time left as well And I think I think I'm gonna keep it this way because this will show give you guys more perspective. Like, hey, even dead in a minute, if the numbers look better, you guys know how much better these characters are. And I'll go I'll go back and take a look at uh, the skills. I'm pretty sure their skills are are fairly leveled up for SM Beck and um, and Lim. Either way, even though their gear might not be as high. Okay, we have ten seconds left. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's way different. Here, comparison. Breaker versus Breaker. Uh, Lim actually kind of did well, to be honest, for Breaker versus Breaker. Harper did 158 million. He did only uh, he did 135. So that's actually not bad for Lim. Um, SM Beck though does not c compete whatsoever with Charlotte. Now again, that could also be because he is spec two different ways and it complicates things, but. Yeah, Charlotte's just overall a way, way better character. With a minute left, she would have got a way higher score as well. Now, if I go back again, like I said, I will take a look at their skills. Let's go here. We took 7, 7, 7, 7. I mean, 7's still not bad. So 10, 8, yeah, this guy's pretty pretty buffed up. So you guys can see here, Lim actually might have kept up with Harper. Um, won't do as good break because she has almighty break, but at least damage-wise, he could probably keep up. But when it comes down to Charlotte and, and SM Beck, uh, I think Charlotte has has that down pat easily. All right, guys, there you guys go. Hopefully this helps out and uh, helps you understand where, where the buffs kind of lay with, with the, the units. Doesn't mean that SM Beck is battered by any means, shape, or form, but if you're comparing between Charlotte and him, Charlotte has it in the bag by a long shot. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.